The illegal immigration debate is intensifying on both of this nation's coasts tonight. In New York City, officials are considering spending taxpayer money to open day labor sites for illegal aliens. And in Southern California, a local school district is being sued for suspending a student protesting against illegal immigration. Now we have two reports tonight. Casey Wine is live from Mira Loma, California, where a high school student says his First Amendment rights of freedom of the speech are being denied. And Bill Tucker reports on the growing debate in New York City over its illegal alien crisis. We begin with Casey Wine. Casey? Kitty, Josh Denhalter is an 18-year-old senior here at Harupa Valley High. He's fighting for the right to express his anti-illegal immigration views at school. Josh Denhalter is standing up for his beliefs. Legal immigration is, is going to be one of the downfalls of this country. It's costing us so much economically and so much. It's, we have to make sacrifices every day for the American people and American taxpayers to support another country. In March, when high school students across Southern California walked out of class to protest the House border security bill, Josh's school held a pro-illegal alien rally. It was organized by the campus chapter of Mecha, a group founded by Latino separatists that advocates the concept of Aslan, or reconquest of the American Southwest. So Denhalter passed out flyers to organize a pro-border security rally at the school, and he was suspended. Now he's suing the school district. Mecha apparently was given an opportunity to use school facilities to, um, to promulgate its ideas. And when Mr. Denhalter attempted to do that, the response that he got from the school district was a suspension notice. The school 